Hi everyone and welcome. This is Mindy Egan here for Honeybee Stamps and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I colored up this really fun hot air balloon with my Karen Brush Pro markers. So here's a look at the stamp set that I'm going to be using. This is the Up, Up, and Away stamp set, and you can see it has two different sizes of the hot air balloons and lots of really great scene, build scene building elements and different things to decorate your hot air balloon. So I'm starting off with a piece of Fabriana Artistico watercolor paper. And I'm stamping down my smaller hot air balloon using a VersaFine Nocturne ink. Now, since I'm going to be doing some watercoloring, I want to tape down my cardstock so it doesn't warp after I add the water. You can tape your paper down to a hard board to move around, but I just taped it right to my work surface. And these are the markers that I'll be using. These are the Karen Brush Pro markers, and I'm just going to separate out all the different colors that I'll be using. I will have all the colors listed on screen if you have these markers and want to give this combination a shot. I'm starting off with the purple. I'll have purple on each of the edges since those are just small slivers of an area to color. And what I'm doing most cases is taking two different colors. Some I will have three different shades of the color group, for instance, this red. Now these markers, a little bit about them, uh, I like to do water coloring with them. And what I do is I start out with the darkest color. I'm gonna blend in the medium color and then bring in the lightest color, which for this one is pale pink. Now you can uh, blend these together just like you were if you were doing Copic coloring and if you want to clean off your tip you just brush that off onto some scratch paper very similar to zigs when you want to clean off your tips and then I'm blending it out with a paintbrush and some water I'm dabbing my paintbrush into the water and kind of then getting that excess water off by dabbing onto a paper towel my set, I do have the larger set and it comes with a couple blender pens, but I prefer using my paintbrush to do the blending. Now for the yellows, I only have two different colors here. I didn't really find a three color combination in the set. You could actually just use one, but since I have this larger set, I wanted to utilize as much as I could out of it. And I really like the contrast that these colors give me. So laying down that darker color for the green, bringing in that lighter color and then just kind of dabbing off. I want to have that darker and lighter shade to it. So I want it to look dimensional. Now, other thing about these Karen markers is they are super, super vibrant, which is what drew my interest to them to begin with. They are just such a really vibrant colors. All of them are, even, even the pale colors, the lighter colors are really nice and bright. So just finishing off here with that purple on the very, very edge, also, these tips are like markers, so they are hard. They are not a brush like the Zigs. They are a harder tip. Once I let this completely air dry, and I do speed that up with my heat tool, I'm going to line up the coordinating die, hold it in place with some of the purple tape, and then run that through my die cut machine, and I will work on the background of my card. For the background, I'm going to be using Dusty Concord Abandoned Coral and Squeezed Lemonade Distress Oxide inks. This is going to be on a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock that is 80 pound. And I'm starting off with that Squeezed Lemonade and the blending brushes from Honeybee Stamps. Now, most pictures, when I think of hot air balloons, I think of bright blue skies, but I really wanted to do something different. And this was a really fun color combination. So starting at the bottom with the Squeezed Lemonade, then bringing in the abandoned coral, kind of starting off on the side of my cardstock, blending in and across. I do blend down into that squeezed lemonade. And then coming in from the top of the card with the dusty concord. And I do kind of dab off on the side so I'm not getting so much ink right away on the cardstock. I'd rather start lighter then darker. I can always add more ink if I want to intensify that color. And then I go back and forth between the colors to kind of help smooth out that blend. Now I did notice in the video that between the abandoned coral and the dusty concord, it doesn't look like it blended very well. You can kind of see a distinct line there. 
But actually, it really did blend nice. For some reason, however the camera is picking it up, it doesn't look blended. But in, in real life, it is blended between the two colors really, really well. Then I'm just taking some clean water and I'm going to flick that all over my background with my paintbrush. And I'll dab up that excess with a paper towel and to add a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to bring in some metallic watercolors and I'll actually be using the white out of this palette. So I just added some of that, uh, flicked that onto my background just to add a little bit of that sparkle and shine. And then I'll give you a quick close-up of what that background looks like. It's very dreamy. It's a really fun color combination. So here's a closer look at those uh, metallic splatters and the water droplets. Now off screen, I did take the coordinating dies from the Up, Up, and Away stamp set. There's five clouds in there that you could stamp and die cut. I just die cut them straight out of white cardstock. And then I'm taking the Mountain Z fold. Now this is the cloud portion. I'll die cut that out of white cardstock. I really liked these billowy clouds. So I'm actually, there's kind of um, scored lines in there or indented lines that it left. So I'm just going to trim my cardstock down right at those scored lines. And this is going to go towards the bottom of my card for those billowy clouds. Now I didn't want to leave these stark white. So I'm going to add just a little bit of tumble, gla tumble glass Distress Oxide ink to the very top and also the bottom of my clouds. Then for my sentiment, I'm going to be bringing in the Blown Away stamp set. This has a lot of great sentiments on here in the different fonts. There's a banner that you can stamp as well. And there is a coordinating die set that you can purchase separately for this. So I'm going to stamp this onto some pitch black cardstock. I'm going to prep that with an anti-static powder tool that will help so the embossing powder only sticks to my embossing ink. So once I stamp that down, I can sprinkle on some alabaster embossing powder. And then I will go ahead and melt that with my heat tool. And I like to wipe my cardstock with a Swiffer cloth just to kind of take away any of that powder. So here's that coordinating die set. You have two different banner options you can pick from. So I picked mine, it's the skinnier of the two, fits right over my sentiment. I love it when the banners are open. That really, really helps me. So I'll hold that in place with the purple tape and run that through my die cut machine and we have this great cutout banner to add to our card front. So I went ahead and laid out how I want my card front to look and then I'm just adding everything with the Gina K Designs dot runner. So adding down my clouds, and some I'm gonna have kind of hanging off the card that I can trim off later. The billowy clouds at the bottom, I'm just adding with that tape runner. And my balloon is going to be popped up with white foam squares. So I'm going ahead and remove the backing of the foam squares, added that, and then I'm gonna do black foam squares behind my sentiment, only on the part that's hanging off of the balloon. And the other end, I'll just add a tape runner to. The black foam squares are helpful because it kind of disguises uh, behind my black cardstock. So add that down, and then I will flip that over and trim off that cloud that was hanging over. And I am going to go ahead and add this to an A2 size card base, so four and a quarter by five and a half. That finishes up my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have all the supplies listed down below in the video description and a link to my blog as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you back here again real soon.